chances to be a volunteer today because we don't have any rain around, just the clouds, so you can pick up litter today. You can also participate in Earth Day activities by planting a tree or flowers because April showers, you know what they bring, those May flowers, and we are tracking some showers over the next seven days. I want to give a quick weather shout out to the third graders over at McGrath Elementary. We uh, visited them recently, and this is our uh, smiling faces for high pressure, happy weather. <laughs> not today, high pressure, not dominating our forecast. In fact, we are tracking a line of showers and storms back to our west. You can see it here draped across the Ohio Valley. Actually, this could bring a slight risk for some severe weather across portions of the mid-Atlantic where you see that yellow shading. Now for us, once this arrives, we're tracking some downpours and the potential for some thunder. So let's take a look at what's in store for our weekend. Today, the pick of the weekend will have a lot of clouds around, but we do remain dry. It's going to stay cooler at the coast in the 50s. The farther inland that you go, you have a better shot at getting closer to uh, 60 degrees. Tomorrow, cooler, the rain moves in and the breeze is going to pick up even more. So here's a look at that breeze today. It is going to pick up by the afternoon and the direction is important again. It's east to southeast, so that means it is coming on shore. Atlantic water right around 45, 46 degrees. So it is cool and it's going to keep our locations along the coast much cooler today. Close to 50 to the low 50s and even that cooler air is going to spill in, in and around the Merrimack Valley and Bill Ricca, so mid to upper 50s there. Farther inland that you go, farther south, you have a better shot at the upper 50s, close to 60 degrees. This evening, it's still cool. You'll likely want a thicker jacket around if you're walking around the city. Temperatures will be in the upper 40s. We are still dry, but there is a chance for a spot shower. That's mainly going to be farther inland that you go. And there's just so many clouds around that there could be some patchy drizzle, but overall, you should be fine for your evening plans. So that's tonight. Then overnight, this rain band is going to work in west to east, and you can see it could be moderate at times. By 8 o'clock, even some spots tomorrow morning could still be dry, mainly along the coast and down towards southeast mass. Once this rain band works in, though, we are just under it. It is not quick to get out of here. It's just going to linger throughout the day. And by the evening, it is still hanging on. So tomorrow it is soggy. It is cooler in the 50s and breezy to gusty, especially along the coast. We need the rain, though. We're in a rain deficit across southern New England, and some areas could pick up close to an inch of rain farther west with or if you're under those downpours, you could get higher amounts. And then looking ahead to next week, multiple opportunities for showers into Monday and Tuesday, even isolated chances later in the week. Look at that, whole lot of clouds around next week and temperatures cooler in the 50s.